What's up guys? Patrick here with Parabolic Trading. What a hot day in the market, right? Holy shit, man. Like seriously, this thing, we'll get to this U1 in a minute. This thing was a bad ass, right? But again, let's take a look. The SPY gapped up this morning, right? So I mean, we just kind of roared back, right? Roared back. Kind of went sideways a little bit, and then we then Jerome Powell decided to speak this morning. Which you know, again, anytime he opens his mouth, the market seems to tank. Um, and judging based off the past on how I have played um, the market against when he opens his mouth, uh, typically I usually go right for Tvix, and I I go for a long on that. So let me go over my trades for today. Um, man, just it's hot. Like it's a hot hot market man seriously unbelievable day trading all right so again let's um first off we'll go back here at tvix so when the spy started the dump and we started rolling over here um i actually took tvix on this uh, uh, probably about the fifth candle here right because i thought well you know the market's going to keep flushing and that's my hope my hope was that the spy was going to flush as long as pal was talking i figured the market's going to flush and i'll be able to hit tvix with a a sizable amount and I did right and of course once it went once it went green for the day um, I, I sold off up into um, halfway up this this wick on this candle amazing right so if that wasn't good enough for today right I actually hit um, let's say I hit D dog this morning a little bit and I hit um, hit a couple other ones and then came this big ass trade right so this U1, this thing was hot in the pre-market, right? On TC2000, if you right-click on the edit chart par, uh, properties, right, you can go to pre-post data and you can always show the, the latest two sessions, right? So again, if we look in the pre-market, right, this thing just started kind of, you know, it had a good day yesterday, like it got, or it went up considerable amount on the previous day. So let's go back and take a look at the previous day. So we see the previous day, it opened up and then it just, man, this this was awesome. And then it kind of pulled back and I thought, well, this is just a pump and dump, right? So I really wasn't interested in it yesterday, right? At first I was and then I thought, well, there's no way it's going to sustain. And then it had a, a fairly a fairly strong close to the day, right? It even closed, it, it, it got up here, it broke the, the, uh, the, the day high of it. And I thought, you know what? It's cool, right? I, I'll put this on my list for a potential day two play, right? So I started watching the pre-market action this morning, right? And if you can see on, on my chart here, I have these little dots, right? You know, underneath the candles or above the candles. These are smart trend indicators, right? They're not exactly signals of when you should buy or sell. It's just to kind of give you a better idea of the overall trend. And it's all calculated uh, with volume included, right? So it takes volume in, into consideration when it calculates. So for red, you're, you're obviously it's a downtrend. Yellow kind of signals you're in a neutral trend. So again, it hasn't really picked a side. And of course, green uh, signals the uptrend. So again, I watched this this morning, right? And I saw this this push up right before the market opened, right? And then it kind of flagged out a little bit, kind of you know, kind of created a little bit of base. And as soon as the market opened, it just started ripping. So again, I took it. I got in here right about eight. I want to say about eight eighty, and then man, it ripped up here, and then we got a halt. Right, we got a while well, we had a halt here, and then it ripped again. I got another halt, and at this point, I'm thinking like, man, we're two halts into this. There's a good chance this thing is just gonna flush back down. I didn't want to give back any profits, right? Because I because I went large, right? I went large on this. 
Um, and I thought, man, you know, like I would hate to, I would hate to give back profits on 3,000 shares, right? So then the next candle popped up and I ended up getting out of my position here. And I thought, you know what? This is just a classic pump and dump. There's no way this thing's going to continue. But again, just because you, you do well in a trade and the, the trade is over doesn't mean the trade is finished for the day. Because any good stock, any hot stock will give you multiple opportunities to hit it, right? Which is great. And it's awesome for people that miss the first move, right? So again, maybe you missed this move here. Maybe you didn't see the entry that you could have got right here, right? You could have got your entry right here at around, around nine bucks. So if you missed this here, you could have got it at nine bucks and you still could have wrote it up for a considerable profit. Right, you could at least got up around, you know, you could have probably got like six bucks if you held it up around 15, right, and even higher. So once it got up here to 20, right, and we had this inverted candle, like this is this is a, a bearish indicator, right? That typically uh, it, it's a it's a signal that the stock is soon going to reverse its trend. So again, I'm thinking like, all right, cool. So then it starts doing exactly what I thought it was going to do. Now here is where the amazing patterns, right? Uh, the amazing patterns that you can learn from one of our, our from our, our, our boot camp, right? This is called a day-long consolidation play. Typically, uh, a stock will push up, right? It'll make a big move, and then it spends the rest of the day going sideways, right? So at this point, this is where all the action is. Once this action happens, everyone's like, oh, it's over, right? So they'll find other stocks to play in. And then, of course, after about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, it does tend to slow down. Uh, on, on normal market days. So everyone's forgetting about the stock. And I have still, and actually I just had this up by accident, right? Like I was looking at another stock and then somebody said, well, hey, what do you, what do you, you know, what was your trade this morning? And I was like, this is my big winner. And I kind of went over with them and I just left this up here and I'm just kind of just chillaxed and eating some lunch and everything. And then I start to see, I start to see it kind of, if you look at the angles of these, uh, of where the, the yellow dots are, right? Even though it's still in a neutral setting, they're sort of drifting up. They're starting drifting up. And then I started seeing my nine EMA rise up. And then, you know what, right here on this green dot here, I'm like, you know what? Like, I really think this thing has got another shot to go. So I got in down here at 14. It pressed up to 14, uh, got to 18. So I took $4, you know, I just got out of my position, took $4. Then it started flagging out sideways, right? And then I'm like, you know what? I, it, it popped down. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, this thing's still going to go. So I got back in at 18 and then I held it for the entire move. What I should have done was I should have sold off half right here. And then once it broke its flag, added the other half. But again, either way, I still would have got the same move, right? Because I would have had the same position size. But man, how hot was this, right? I held it from 18 all the way up here, right? 39. I'm like, there's just no way. And I, sure enough, right? Right at the end of the day, bam, starts flushing over. And now you can see it's down to 23 in the after hours. So this, this thing here, if you would have been smart and took 3,000 shares at the, around the opening at 6, right, and you had held it, man, that, that would have been like a $100,000 day. Like seriously, you're talking about these are days that traders dream of. If you can hold something that long, right? And again, there's, it would be hard to, to take 3,000 shares, get up here, and then it pull back and then just go sideways all day. But again, if you're familiar with day-long consolidation plays, right? You get a, a fresh push up. This, this is a monster move. This stock needs to rest all day, right? And as, as long as traders are finding some validity to its price and it's not crashing and it's not, you know, and again, I don't, I think with interactive brokers, I had no shorts available because that was my play was to play it to the long side, wait till it topped out and then short the living shit out of it. But I had no borrow. So I thought, well, maybe if I don't have any borrows, either they've already been taken for the day or no one has any borrows. And if that's the case, there's a good chance this thing is going to pop later on because there's nothing, there's nothing to short, right? There's nothing to drive the price down. And again, and I don't think people that have their positions are just going to dump right? They're going to, they're going to dump when it makes sense for them. They're going to make some money on it, right? You want to, you want to sell into the spikes, not necessarily, you know, sell on the way down, right? You want to sell on the way up rather than sell on the way down. If you're selling on the way down, you're trying to unload shares to save profit. If you're selling into the spikes, man, you're taking profits, right? You're not being forced to take them. You're taking them because you want them profits. But man, when it broke and I thought, man, we got up to 18, like this is as far as we're going to go. No, it didn't, right? Because then I looked back and I saw that, man, it got up to like over 20, right? Almost up to 22, right? Almost up, well, I'm sorry, almost up to 20 right here, 
right? So we got almost up to 20, and I thought, man, like maybe this thing pulls back or goes sideways, consolidates, and then rips, and then sure enough, look at this. Man, it rips up clean, clean pattern, right? This is a clean little, I mean, it's a little mini flag, right? Pushes up sideways, two candles. Typically, you want three to 10 candles, but again, it was clean enough where on, the, on this candle, but it broke. Pressed up again. Now you have a nice flag forming right here, right? So you can see you got a nice flag pattern forming right here. Once it breaks this, let me get this straight here. Once it breaks this, man, oh my God, your risk is almost less than a buck, right? Less than a buck to go from, on what, 24 all the way up here, up all the way up here to like 40, right? Still, even if you didn't catch any of this action in the beginning, you still got to hit this bad boy for the same kind of move that you got in the open. So again, don't make that mistake and think just because you missed the open that you missed the hottest part of the day because I have found out that stocks that move like this and then go sideways all day, all they're doing is getting their power from basing. They're getting their power from consolidation, right? So once they get all this power built up, I look at it like this. This is the hurricane, right? It's getting ready to come on shore and then it stalls out, right? So the, for, for those of you that live in the tropics or live down in Florida, you know what I'm talking about. Hurricanes come off the coast, they just churn and churn and churn. And as they keep churning, right? They're not moving, they're not moving anywhere. All they're doing is they're they're sucking up all the, 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 uh, the moisture and the activity, right? And all the energy. So then when they finally let loose on land, man, they go freaking bonkers. And this is what it did. Like this is what it did. This is how easy, you could have made an entire, for a lot of traders, this could have been an entire year salary in one damn day, right? So again, I just wanted to kind of share with you how hot to say, well, I mean, like honestly, I, I had other profitable trades. None of them even matter because this trade was the hottest freaking trade I took all day, right? Like you, I could have just traded this one stock, man, and I could have just had just as good a day as I did with this in addition to my other winners, right? And again, and Kivix was no slouch, man. Like seriously, Kivix, it's almost like clockwork. The spy starts dumping. And if you can get that aligned, uh, you, you can align your, your, your Kivix chart with the spy when it's going down, holy shit, dude, you can rake in some serious cash, right? So again, congrats to all you fellow U1 winners like myself. Uh, and there's quite a few others that I know that are my colleagues and my friends that, that benefited as well. Congrats to you all as well for, for being wise, right? And for those of you that right now having that FOMO going, man, I really wish I would have taken that or I wish I would have known how to play it. You can, you can learn it, right? Join our boot camp. We're going to be changing to a new format for our boot camp. Each month, we're going to start on June, the, or so we're gonna start on the first of every month. You're gonna have four weeks long of classes, right? It's going to be five nights where you can get 20 university level style classes where you're going to learn how to not only swing trade and day trade, right? So you can be able to, to attack the market and make the most money possible, right? So again, hit me up, right? Either email me at Patrick at Patrick, I'm sorry, it's Patrick at pa ParaboliceTradingLLC.com or you can hit me up here on YouTube as well or you can also hit me up at facebook.com forward slash parabolic trading LLC and as well on Instagram at parabolic uh, yeah, parabolic LLC I'm sorry parabolic trading and then of course on Twitter yeah man that's how good this day was man like I am so exhausted just from from winning right like from winning and then of course if you want to hit me up on Twitter you can do it as well uh, at LLC parabolic right so again do me a favor hit that like button subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. So maybe the next time you won't miss this trade, right? So take care, guys. Have fun. And again, congrats to all the winners.